Celebrating Black History Month with community involvement and positive change. That's the goal of the Love Movement social event series. Antoinette Essen talked with the team of young professionals and she joins us now live to tell us about the event happening this weekend. Good morning to you, Antoinette. Good morning to you, Greg. And we're right down the street from the station at uh Hofheimer building. As you can see, we are here with Tori Gilbert. He is the founder, president, all around uh, advisor <laughs> for the Love Movement social event series, as uh -huh. you, you should mention, Greg. How did this come about? How did this organization come about? Well, it was a void in the community uh, right after COVID, where there was not a lot of places for us to go. Yeah. You know, where we can be, have some fun, network, socialize, and also bring some outreach to community, outreach to the community. So. That's kind of how we, the organization came about. And folks aren't doing nightclubs anymore. So, you know, no. yeah, millennials and Gen Zs and some of us baby boomers are looking for places to go. You're having something here Sunday. Tell me about it. Well, we're excited about that. We're celebrating Black History Month. And on, in doing so, we're commemorating Black Wall Street of Jackson Ward. So we're going to be with the Black History Museum of Virginia, Faith Norell. She's going to give us some recounts about Jackson Ward, have vendors here in celebration of small black businesses, yeah. and also DJ music and networking and some education as well. And that starts what time? At 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. And then coming up on the 21st, you're having an equity health fair. Yep, actually February 22nd. We've got Virginia Union, okay. health, the equity health fair, where we bring in the health and awareness to the community. Community. Um, just want to acknowledge and bring some awareness and help deal with a lot of the issues we have in our community, such as diabetes, heart, heart disease, things of that nature. So we're going to be bringing resources to the community, bringing some healthy food to the community, and personal trainers to the community.